Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is brief, but I want to put this out here because I'm getting a lot of it. And if you're sensitive to hard talk or whatever, you need to turn it off, go to the next video. But um, this is needed. If you own one of these, or if you own a shockwave, or a um, TAC-14, and you're afraid of it, there's help for you. You can get proper training, and with the proper training, you can learn how to efficiently run this. I am so tired of guys who got their training from Call of Duty or grew up looking at gun magazines telling me and those of us like me that this weapon is ineffective. They're calling this a novelty, a range toy, because they are afraid to do this. They are afraid to use the push-pull technique and aim this like it should be to properly deploy it. Push-pull. So easy. You can manage the recoil. You do not need a butt stock. You take one of these, stoke it with federal flight control, and you can get pie size grouping at 25 yards, accurately aiming this at 25 yards. Anyone who doesn't think a pie size group of buckshot is effective at 25 yards, something is wrong with them. So we're getting a lot of trainers out there that are afraid of these and they want you to hip shoot it or they want you to shoot it from chest level and not properly snap in and aim it. It's simple and highly effective. You know, um, I'm making this because I had another instructor tell me that it's irresponsible to train people to snap in. Use it like it was intended to be used. It has a front sight for a reason. I put rifle sights on mine because I like to shoot slugs, the full load slugs out of these. This is not a catch-all weapon but inside of 25 yards pro properly trained you can dominate with this okay i'm gonna put a few examples uh at the end of this video to show you what i'm talking about also this one same thing push pull Aim it. It will not come back and smack you in the face. Push, pull, aim. Boom. The thing about it, with the design, the bird head design, the way your hand is, you're straight right along here. And that's where your recoil is traveling down versus a pistol grip where you're getting a lot of it right there in the wrist area. But like this, recoil tends to travel down your forearm. So do not listen to the instructors who are telling you that these are only good to be shot from the hip. You aim them and you can effectively get engaged targets inside of 25 yards with a full load of buckshot. 